Yeah, so in the previous video, I said we're going to talk about Columbus, because Columbus has a few other storylines that I think are worth talking about, and the biggest one comes to us in the form of everybody's favorite whipping boy, Patrick Lyde. And no, I don't mean everybody, I mean just kind of one guy. Yeah, I'm kind of hyperbolizing over here. John Tortorella's whipping boy, Patrick Laine, and the way that he would coach that squad. So, today we're going over to an article published on the Columbus Dispatch, talking about Patrick Laine and an interview he did on Amulethi.fi. Yeah, I apologize to all the Finns out there watching this video, but it was an interview that Patrick Laine did with a Finnish media outlet. And pretty much, you know what we're talking about here? Yeah, we're talking about John Tortorella. Patrick Laine came out here with some pretty blunt critiques and statements about the John Tortorella coaching style. Here's the article on the ColumbusDispatch.com. The Blue Jacket star Patrick Laine criticizes Tortorella's coaching style, the enigmatic forward says it was stupid not to use my potential, and that offensive forwards have to cheat a bit to produce big numbers. So let's go throughout this article and read what Patrick Laine has to say. I would assume it was actually said in Finnish and published onto this Finnish media website, but it was translated into English for the folks over reading the Columbus Dispatch, because of course, the general public of Columbus, Ohio is not really going to be able to fully read a Finnish outlet article unless you're Finnish. The article here on the Dispatch opens up by talking about Patrick Laine and how, after shouldering the blame in May for having the worst offensive output of his career, the Blue Jackets forward has dumped a significant portion of the blame for this on former coach John Tortorella this week. Speaking with Finnish media outlet Amulethi on Tuesday, Laine pointed out Tortorella's requirements that forwards have to play a responsible two-way game, working as hard defensively as offensively, which led to a season-long scoring drought. Laine says, I guess everyone must have rules. But of course, you always hope that you will be able to use your strengths. Tortorella did not give freedom to anybody. Forwards want to create offense. You have to cheat a bit if you want to become a goal king. Side note, that's a pretty interesting way to call the top guy on your team in goals. The goal king. Either way, though, Patrick Laine says it's not possible for you to become the goal king if coaches think differently. But he still says that he does what the coaches tell him. I understand the need for a tight system, but all players are different. I do not want to be like everyone else. I am who I am, and I do things my way. Everyone should be given the opportunity to be themselves. Then, of course, you have to play within the team's system. I think it's stupid not to use my potential. But then it's another matter what the coaches think. Oh my goodness. There you go. There's the blame right there. Patrick Laine labeling the John Tortorella system as stupid because it's not allowing him to use his strengths. I think it kind of takes no genius to understand what it is that Laine is at the NHL level, right? We all kind of know at his best, he's the guy that doesn't really have the puck often, because when you give him the pass, it usually ends up in the back of the net a few seconds later. The times when Patrick Laine does have the puck, he'll do what he did this season, where he probably scored the goal of the year, taking it in his own zone, self-saucing it all the way up the ice, walking right into the offensive zone, cutting across, and scoring. Patrick Laine, for the most part, is is a goal-scoring machine, and he's been that way the entire career he has had. So, it's understandable to see why a guy like Patrick Laine, who has made his living scoring goals, being an offensive threat, one-timing it by the goaltenders, and doing what it is to get his numbers up, doesn't really have a super-developed two-way side to his game, because, I mean, what's the point of developing your two-way game when you're scoring a hat-trick a night? I get it, there's definitely value in doing that, it's just, it's understandable to me to see why a guy like Laine wouldn't be as developed in that respect as, let's say, somebody else. Let's say the centers, because centers have defensive responsibility they need to learn, that in which wingers do not have, so it's easy to understand why a guy like Alexander Barkov or Aho or even Anton Lundell in the Finnish League this year have that side developed. Patrick Laine's role has primarily been just score the lights out anywhere you go. Remember when he had that bad year a few years ago with Winnipeg? Yeah, he still got 30 goals. So that's just kind of the magnitude of 
goal production that this guy has. So it doesn't really surprise me that he's going out there and saying, yeah, it's kind of dumb that this new system we have has me trying to play like everybody else, having a two-way, defensively responsible kind of game. Now, I'm not saying he's right or wrong to think that, I'm just saying it's understandable to see why. It's definitely understandable to see the opposite direction as well. Come on, Line A, why do you have to be like that? Just play defensively. Just go out there, do your shifts, go back check, and take the puck away on a defensive rush. You've got size, you've got reach, you've got strength, you can do that. Why would you not do that? I'm not saying that's what I think, I'm saying that's the perspective to argue what it is Line A is saying over here, because both perspectives, in my opinion, are perfectly valid excuses. Back to the article here on the Columbus Dispatch, during a season-ending media availability in May, Line A kinda defended Tortorella a bit, as he was asked whether a new coach or a new offensive system might revive his scoring touch. He said, I don't think so. I think it was just, the big reason was I wasn't playing as well as I needed to. It's not the system's fault, it's my fault. I don't think it matters who's behind the bench, I still gotta go out there and do what I do. I couldn't do that this year, but I'll do it next year. And so, there is an entirely new contradiction here because Line A back in May said this, that it was really his fault, not Tortorella's fault, that he didn't produce, but now to the Finnish media back home, translated into English on the Columbus Dispatch, it's come out that he's saying, yeah, no, it's Tortorella's fault. He really limited my ability, he gave me no freedom, and as a result, there wasn't an ability to score like the way I would have wanted to. And to make things even more dramatic, do you remember earlier on in the season where Patrick Laine was benched for an extended amount of time because he made a bad comment, he mouthed it off at one of the assistant coaches on the Blue Jackets? Well, the Columbus Dispatch also learned that that comment that Laine made was directed at Brad Larson who is now Tortorella's replacement as head coach. Larson declined to comment when asked if he and Line have patched things up, and a source close to the situation has said that there should be no lingering issues from the incident, which was dealt with quickly. Yeah, that incident back when Line spoke off to one of the assistant coaches was to the guy that is now the new head coach. Now, sure, Brad Larson is not John Tortorella. Nobody is John Tortorella. I'm not sure if Brad Larson's going to go out there with a similar system to what Tortorella displayed with the Blue Jackets because we all know how well that system worked out for them this year. But either way, it does add a little bit more conversation matter to the fire when it comes to Patrick Line controversies in Columbus. Saying just a few months ago, yeah, it's my fault why I didn't produce. I wasn't that good. It's not the system that Tortorella has, it's just me. I'm gonna be better next year because this year, man, wasn't all too great. To a few months later saying, yeah, no, it's Tortorella's system completely. Yeah, it's kind of stupid the way that I was used out there on the ice. Oh boy. Kind of feeds to the idea that we were talking about earlier when we said that the Line A for Dubois trade was ultimately somewhat of a lose-lose in the short term because Dubois didn't really do too much with the Jets, Line A really didn't do too much with the Blue Jackets, and now he's complaining about the old coach, and Jack Rozovic is probably the only guy who has been really good ever since that trade went down. But either way, talk to me in the comments what you think about Patrick Line A talking about Tortorella over here. I will leave a link in the description to the article on the dispatch if you want to go ahead and read that because it is a pretty good read. Lots of stuff going on over there, translated from Finnish to English for Patrick Laine. The biggest question right now, though, is quite simple. Does Patrick Laine bounce back from what was ultimately the worst year he has ever had in the NHL? 12 goals, 12 assists, 24 points in 46 games played. If you do the math on that, he would have been on pace for 21 goals, 21 assists, and 42 points in a full 82-game season. Does he break that number next year? We all know he's capable of doing that, but will he? He's playing on a bad Blue Jackets team. Let's see how exactly the new systems that Larson is going to introduce coincide with the players. And furthermore, it's not even just Patrick Laine, who's kind of got a chip on his shoulder from the past few seasons for next year, because Max Domi, for example, is still a guy on this squad that is also kind of going through a similar growing pain with the system in Columbus over there. So we'll see how exactly things go down next year, but I want you to talk to me in the comments below what your personal opinions are about that. Domi, Line A, Point Production, Tortorella, what do you think? I hope you enjoyed this video of Ash Rolls and I9. And bye.